Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey guys, Boy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be comparing two different kinds of cargo mats or cargo liners. And I'll be comparing between the functionality, the durability, and also the quality of the materials. Let's go. Okay, first, let's check out the quality of the material on both of these trunk liner or cargo mat. Um, first, this one, I got it from tparts.us and this cargo liner, I got it from two rows. All right, let's check out the quality on the one from tparts first. As you can see, they both have different design and also different material thickness. Um, they actually both made out of TPE material, which is non-toxic um, plastic rubber. And you won't smell that rubber smell on both of these. And they are environmental friendly and they're both 100% recyclable. Okay, so the one from T Parts is actually a thinner material, but it's really soft. You can feel the quality. It's not hard plastic at all. Um, it has that um, grip on the top with this texture on it, as you can see here and it divides in different sections. All right, now let's check out the one from Two Rows. This is the 3D style trunk liner, which offers a thicker, thicker material here. As you can see, that's the thickness of the one from Two Parts. And this is the thickness of the one from Two Rows. And this feel, more like a foam material, not as um, rubbery as this one. And this one, it's really simple design. I really like the texture on this one. As you can see on the bottom, it has that um, small little dots that offers the grip when you put it on your trunk so it doesn't uh, move around. Let's see the one from T Parts. And this one offer a different kind of grip. As you can see, it's like a pointy um, part that came out. That will create the grips to hold on the interior um, carpeting. All right, now we see the quality of the materials. I really like both of them. Both of them offer different kinds of um, quality, but they both offer really, really good quality comparing to other different trunk liners out in the market. Okay, now let's try the fitment. I will put each of them inside my trunk and see how each of them fit in the design of the Model 3 trunk space. Okay, before we continue with the fitment test on these liners, I'll put the link of both of these liners in the description down below. Also, special discount code on both Turos and tparts.us. Now, let's continue. Here's the fitment on a trunk liner from T Parts. As you can see, the start from the edge in the front first. It fits really good here. I don't see any gaps at all. Um, why the fitment is important? So it protects the dirt um, from getting in underneath 
the liner so you only have to clean what's on the top so as you can see on the side right here um, because the material is kind of thin um, it came in the shipping so I probably gonna have to rest it in the trunk for a while to have this um, bubble go down but otherwise the fitment is pretty good it just bubble up here because of the chipping you can see on the inside um, same here it's a little bubble um, actually let me see oh it's a little it, I don't know if you can see that it's a little hum here I thought it was the bubble so yeah it's a little hum here right here otherwise the fitment is really good you can see all the way around on the inside, this side is the same. Same here. Um, no gaps at all. As you can see. Alright. I really like the fitment of this um, 3W by T parts. It fits really well inside the trunk of Tesla Model 3. Now, let's try the fitment of the one from 2 rows over there. Okay. Here is the fitment test on the trunk liner from two rows. Let's start from the outside edge first. It seemed to fit really good. As you can see, there's no gap. But it seems the liner is a tad, tad bigger than the trunk space. You can see I still can push it in and it pops up. I'm not sure it is because it's bigger or it has to sit in um, to get it into shape but it pops a little on the top end right here but everywhere else let's see on the side show on the side you can see it has a tiny space right there um, compared to the one from T parts it's like a tiny little hole right there too. Let's see on the side here. Let's go inside. This part in the back right here fits really, really good. A little bit better than the one from T Pose actually. I really like this part, but somehow it has that tiny space on the front. In the back, pretty much the same. No gap at all. Same here. Same here. There's no gap on the side. Um, this one has like a storage part compartment. Yeah, it fits really, really good. Um, comparing to a T parts liner, I think um, that one fits a little bit better um, than this one but overall both are if I'm not being super picky on you know small little uh, space or holes that it creates otherwise they both fit really well inside the trunk of Tesla uh, Model 3 all right now I'm going to test a little bit a little bit of durability and I will uh, put the water in on each of them and try to clean them and see how easy it is to clean off from the surface. All right, let's test the one from two rows first since we already have it inside. I'm gonna pour the water and try to clean off with the cloth. Since both of them are waterproof, you can see here, Pour in the water. Really, really cool. See that it sits. Actually, the water sits on the surface, as you can see. See how hard or easy it is to clean. Wow. <laughs> My wife would definitely love this one. It's so, so easy to clean off the water as you can see there it's no more 
water. Um, and this cloth is really, really good. I got it from T-Parts if you are interested. I'll put the link down below. It absorbs a lot of water. It's not that big cloth, but it's really, really good. All right, now let's test another one. Okay, now let's test the cocoa mesh from T-Parts. I will pour in the uh, same amount of water there. See, it just sits on the surface just like the other one. Really, really cool. So, um, so this one kind of because of the design of the cargo mat, uh, the water kind of spread out. Um, unlike the one um, from Turos, it's kind of sit in the same area. This one kind of spread out, as you can see, because of the design of it. But let's clean it. Try to clean it off. See how easy it is. Right, looks like it's all dry. That's it. So it seems like a little bit um, trickier to clean this one because of the the design of it, because the water kind of spread off um, everywhere um, instead of the one from Tuos. It's kind of sit in a similar space, so it's easier to clean. The Tuos ones is easier to clean than this one, but they're both really really doable and waterproof. Okay, now let's do a functionality test on these two cargo liner. Start from the one from T-Parts first. Um, as you can see, it divides into um, different sections. It even labels for umbrella right here. So if you have a small or a full size umbrella, it will fit in that section and it won't roll around. You ask me why you need to put an umbrella here, because this part, whole part, it's waterproof. Let's say you're out in the rain, come back, just throw your umbrella in there, and it won't get your car inside wet. Um, and also this part right here, so you can put small stuff, so it doesn't roll back and forth all the way to the back there. And it has some kind of stopper right here, if you have a bigger stuff sitting in here and it might roll it probably stops here and it won't hit the back of your trunk so i really like the functionality of this trunk liner also as if you can see here there's a cutout it's a perfect cutout um, for the grab hook so you can open Let's see so you can open underneath and then fall back easily it doesn't have um, the divider in the middle but the material is soft enough so it doesn't need that divider to be able to you can see be able to open and close all right now let's try the one from two rows okay so this is the one um, from Turos, it's a 3D style trunk liner from Turos. It doesn't have um, as many dividers as the one from T-Parts has, but I really like the higher edges here, you can see, and this side too, and because of the material is thicker, so it it's kind of required to have like um, a breaking line in the middle. It still um, have this cutout, not as as perfect as the one from T Parts, but it still have the cutout for the handle hook, so you can pull it up. You can see it folds perfectly where the folding line is. You can still can grab whatever on the bottom and close it down, and it has a small like divider I still can put let's see umbrella there but then still it won't stop it from rolling around left and right so that's the functionality of um, three styles liner from two rows 
I forgot to mention that um, the trunk liner from T Parts also comes with a, a front liner right here. I'll take it out. It fits really, really good. Right here, as you can see, this is the front liner. So it comes as a set a trunk liner and a front liner, and the front liner fits really, really, really good. <laughs> So in conclusion on these two trunk liners, um, the fitments wise, I really like both of the liners fitment. Um, maybe T-Parts fitment, it fits a little bit better than the one from Two Rows, um, but the material quality and durability, I gotta give it to um, Two Rows. It has a thicker, um, it seems stronger, when it comes to the durability test and it's easier to clean when you spill water or whatever you want to put in your trunk. Um, the functionality wise, I really like the functionality on T-Parts trunk liner. It has a lot of dividers and it has stoppers so things won't roll around in the back of your trunk when you want to carry small stuff. And this one doesn't have as many dividers as the one from T Parts. So overall, I really like both of the liners. Actually, I, if I could, I would have both. But um, it's up to you how your lifestyle is. You know how you are going to use your car for your trunk for. But both of them are really, really good quality. All right, don't forget to use the code in the description below and I will also put the link of both products in the description. And thank you so much guys for watching today's video. I hope the testing today helped you to choose which trunk liner fits your lifestyles. All right, don't forget to click like if you like the video. Also subscribe for future contents. We'll see you on the next video.